Hello everyone, happy and prosper new year! Making my Christmas shopping, I found these super cute ear cuff earrings. But I don't really need to buy jewelry because I have lots of supplies at home, so I put my brain to think, and here is the result. A very complete tutorial for you and lovely earrings for me. So, these are the supplies you will need. Cut yourself 12 cm of brass wire, look for the middle and then bend it. You can use your round nose pliers to make it. Now measure 2 cm from that little curve we have and bend both tails in a 90 degrees angle. Now cut 25 cm of thin wire. Leaving 12 cm in each side, rub it as many times as you want. You should have something like this. The wrapping right in the center and two more or less 12 cm tails. Grab the wire you have below the wrapping and come through it. Pull very well to have a perfect tidy uh, thing. Sorry, I don't know how to call this. Maybe wrapping again? Yeah, you probably noticed that English is not my mother tongue, so I have a lack on synonymous. Now you have both tails looking up. Choose the beads you like the most, mine have one millimeter hole, so they are perfect. And now wrap the thin wire once around the thicker one. Insert one bead, go over the thick wire and wrap once. Put the piece upside down and wrap the wire once. Remember, you have to go over the thicker wire and then wrap it. Let's do it one more time. Put the piece upside down, wrap the thin wire always one time. And now repeat this again. And again. This time don't wrap it completely, just leave it like this. And insert one more bead. Now you have to do the same. One wrap. Put it upside down. And wrap again. Actually, you can wrap it as many times as you want. I wrap it, I think it was two times per side, but you can choose how to make yours. Whenever you are right in the middle, you have to wrap the wire between those two beads, maybe twice. I think twice is perfect. And when you're finished, just cut the excessive and flat the ends. All you have to do now is to repeat the same process in the other side. I added 4 beads in total, but you can make it longer if you want. This is how it should look. It's beautiful, isn't it? And now I'm using this type of glue, I think it's the best. Just add a little bit at the end. And also inside of a 3mm bead. Try to follow the manufacturer instructions to get the better result. Stick a 3mm bead at the ends and let it dry. Once dry, use your pliers to make a hook like this. And cut any excessive wire you may have at the ends. And of course, if you cut something, you have to file very well. And this is it! In my opinion, this is gorgeous! What did you think about? Let me know in the comments! If you like this video, please give me thumbs up and subscribe for more creative DIY jewelry. Hit the bell to be notified every time I post new videos. Hope to see you in my next tutorial, but until then, remember, stay beautiful, smile, and be very, very, very happy!